Use me when I'm broken. Use me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weak. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Oh, somebody ought to celebrate the awesome. Fact. There are 20.6 million people in the United States over the age of 12 with an addiction. Fact. 100 people die every day from drug overdose. This rate has tripled in the past 20 years. Fact. In the United States alone, more than 15 million people abuse prescription drugs. According to the National Institute of Drug Abuse, opioids, which are used for pain, have resulted in 28,000 deaths from overdose. Fact. Despite all these tragic losses that result from substance abuse, the most saddened byproduct of substance abuse is neglect, abuse, and maltreatment of children whose parents are addicted to drugs. Because addiction can alter the perception of reality, children of parents who are chemically dependent are uncommonly found to be put in harm's way, neglected, or otherwise abused. According to the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act, the mistreatment of children is defined as any recent act or failure to act on the part of a parent or caregiver, which results in death, serious physical emotional harm, sexual abuse, or exploitation. What could this mean in the case of children being put in danger by way of drug abuse in the home? While even just exposing children to dangerous and illegal drugs could easily be considered maltreatment, additional abuse, or neglect can manifest in any of the following ways violence or verbal abuse resulting from being drunk or high, sexual abuse or behavior which makes a child feel uncomfortable, forcing a child to hide an adult's drug abuse or alcohol problem, constantly being left at home alone, and constantly ignoring a child or their needs. Now that you have the facts, here's the solution. This is where the CROSS program can help, whether it be spiritual guidance, counseling, or other proven methods that can help you solve your addiction problem, such as interventions, 12-step treatment programs, behavioral therapy, and rehabilitation. You are not alone in this fight. These techniques have been proven to do what you probably couldn't do on your own, which is break your addiction and get your life back. If you need any assistance in these programs, please contact Reverend Jackson at Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. And remember, we are here to help, not judge.